this leaf feel a little drained, but it's okay. It's okay. That's too much. Uh, we're gonna have six more kids. Oh. Yeah, from, why did I say that like that? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Azaria's Place. We are picking up this Sim Saturday with episode 6, oh my gosh, of the Disney Princess 10 Generation Challenge. It's honestly not that weird, it's just weird to think that I've been doing this for 6 weeks straight. And so far so good it seems like. I'm really excited and just really grateful for everyone who's been popping on to watch any of the content I've been posting, so thanks. So to keep this short and sweet, we're gonna just refresh those rules and then hop back in. So for Snow White, she cannot open the door for strangers or elderly women. And for her children, they must all achieve something before their teen years, as well as age up with one positive character trait. I'm sure I'm missing some rules, but if I missed any and you'd like to find out what those are, I will link them in the description below for you to read them. All right, we're gonna hop back in. Yeah. Oh gosh, I forgot. I just clicked on it and I realized that she's pregnant again. So that's good. We're off to a really good start. So yeah, I guess to recap, what happened last week? Something. <laughs> so yeah, we had Happy. She just kind of skill-builded, wrote a book or two. There's some competition that she was nominated for, Best Writing or something. And they're waiting for Dwarf number two. And she's in her third trimester, I think. So I'm actually pumped. We're hopping back in. Wow. Oh, and they're sleeping. Okay. Oh, Happy is not happy at the start of this episode, so I guess we'll wake up Mama Bear and change your baby's diaper, I think. Yeah. You have a job. Oh, you should get up and go to the bathroom. Orphan, orphan. Completely forgot she was having another baby. <laughs> It's crazy, we have to do this for 10 generations, so, well, not this exact thing, but a little crazy. Oh, and she's asleep, wow. Happy White, you are the least troubled soul ever. Something just broke. So you can just repair that. We don't have a lot of... How? Okay, well, you take care of that, Paolo, when you're done. Wow, we did not... Oh, she's already got those royalties. Wow. She hasn't sold Snow White and the Seven Dwarves yet, so... No, Zoe. No! That's what happened last week. We found out that Zoe Patel's a homewrecker, so... We're not gonna go back there. What is wrong with you? Happy... Are you, are you kidding me, Happy? Right? We're gonna have two soon. Uh, honestly, I kinda don't wanna sell Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Maybe they'll all, like, write their own story and we'll just keep them forever. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. So let's put that on the shelf here. That way anyone can read Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And then we'll just have her write something else. Happy seems to be a little happier. Oh no, they're asleep. Okay, perfect. Powell's gonna pick up another book to read. All right. Powell loves to read, which is very interesting. I don't think I've ever had a sim read this much. On this edition of What's Paolo Reading? Oh, it's a parenting book. Okay. Let's see what the description says, though. Learn the difference between caring for a baby and caring for a cat. Which can't be left alone? Which likes tuna? All the answers are within. Eat some food and keep reading that book because we want that parenting seal up. That'd be really nice. I've also, I've never, she's like sparkling. I've never seen my sim. Oh, okay. What is this, a romance book? Body language. Um, kiss of the 
werewolf. Guys, I love, I love kind of fantasy stuff like that. Like, I loved Twilight. I love Vampire Diaries. I love any fantasy kind of thing like that. So, I kind of really, 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 really love vampires and werewolves. Just, like, lore in general. I think that stuff is really cool. I think that's a good enough description. Romance book. But I've never had my Sims, I guess... I can't show you it now, but like I've never had my Sims sparkle the way she was sparkling. Oh, she's still doing it. She's still sparkling. Can you see it? Do you see she's like shimmering? She's shimmering. And I've seen this whole like thinking thing, but I've never seen this. Is that an update? Is that, a, is that an update? I don't know what that is. There's honestly not been a much to do. We're just waiting for the baby at this point. Oh, and our baby's sad. <gasps> Alright, okay. So take a break. Go feed your baby. Oh my gosh. Aggressive. Alright. And then she's gonna cry in like two seconds. Oh my gosh. Their sink is atrocious. Look at that sink. How about you clean the sink? Yeah, do that. It's a little nasty. And the baby, Happy, you are not proving your- You are not living up to your name today, Happy. So, I honestly think we could possibly get a baby in this episode. Okay, Paolo. That's great. What's wrong with you? You're tense? I'm sorry. I wish we had a TV. Why don't you, like, go do something fun on the computer? Yeah, play Sim Scuffle. So anyone who's like not a simmer and is very confused by this. So you can have different jobs. And he is an athlete, I believe. So his life aspiration is to be a bodybuilder. What? Zoe Patel can't take a hint. So he's playing. I guess his fun is up now a little bit better. So why don't you just eat something? Grab some leftovers and then... I guess they go to bed. I mean, they're going to bed a little early, but I don't understand why their needs are not being taken care of. I guess I'm the one controlling them. Parenting level two. That's exciting. This baby knows how to cry. I don't. I feel like I've never been this annoyed by a baby crying on The Sims before, but this baby has some strong lungs. Oh. Thank goodness. It's almost Happy's birthday! Oh my gosh, and Happy is ruining it by crying. Jeez, Happy. You are not living up to your namesake. You're about to be grumpy real fast. Good thing, like, I don't want to jinx it, but good thing there hasn't been any fires or anything. Cooking level two. Love to see a level up. Oh my gosh. This baby is going to be the death of me. Don't bounce it. It has the green smell. Like, obviously, you change your baby's diaper snow. I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but... I love this game so much, though. I'm not even going to lie to you. I know, like, a lot of people were very confused when I started playing this game or when I started, I guess, being more public about the fact that I play this game. And some people my age got it. Like, I have a lot of friends who love The Sims. I think The Sims community is very nice and kind and open and very accepting. And then when I started telling more people that I love The Sims, that I played The Sims, that I was doing a channel where I played The Sims and talked about The Sims, I confused a lot of people, for sure. And, yeah, it's definitely just how I relax. Oh, tonight's that event, too. The Starlight Accolades, right? That's the thing that she was nominated for at 6 p.m. Maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll make an appearance. Unless she has the baby then. That would be a little awkward. He's playing in the bathtub. His baby's crying. You have a book to finish reading. I mean, writing, Missy. So why don't you go do that?
He was gonna go pick up another book. Oh my gosh, Paolo loves to read and it's amazing. I just want this baby to come. It's taking us a bit. Oh. Oh, it's broken. Okay. Ooh. We're just gonna repair it. So now, be a handy gal and help us out. Oh my gosh. We're not going to get anything done with this baby. And to think, there's going to be another one. I can't. I'm just going to walk away. There's a bell ringing. Okay. I guess you just need some fun. I mean, you have a phone. Do you have any friends you can talk to? She's not your friend, I'll tell you that much. Call Victor, let's chat with Victor. Oh my gosh, look at her. Snow White cheek though. All right, so I guess we'll just make her do something on her computer. Zoe, so this is the fourth time I think. Zoe, if you can't take a hint by now, I don't know what to tell you, Zoe. Wait, you know what, baby? Oh my gosh, the, if we get another baby, they better be an angelic. Starlight accolades at 6 to 11 at Studio B, PBP. I mean, should we go? I mean, Paolo's home. You know what? We're gonna let her go. She needs to get out of the house. I need to get out of this house. And I'm not even there, so. Let's go. We'll see if she wins anything. She is nominated after all, so. Go by yourself, that way the baby doesn't have to be able to take care. Alright, I think that's in the Soul Valley, I'm pretty sure. Studio PB. Yeah. Here we go. We're going. Alright, now this one though is a place where like only celebrities can get in. Right now it's set to three star celebrity. There's nobody at the door though. Can I just go in? Where is she? Why? She came all the way over here just to view this. Pick up celebrity tile. tile. Can she do that? She just stole that. She definitely just stole Dirk Dreamer's tile. That's kind of amazing. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh my gosh. She won, Starlight. she won the Starlight Accolade for Best Book. If she accepts the award, you can find it in the Sims household inventory. So it's not in- how do I accept it? How do I accept it? Yeah, she's accepting her award. Wow. That feels good. Alright, we're gonna go home. I don't know if the baby's gonna come in this episode. I'm really upset about it. So, I think if anything, we'll get to see what Happy looks like aged up. Because I think her birthday is soon. Like, I just want this baby to come out of her, please. All right, well, I guess for now, I'll just go to sleep. Hopefully, you know, because I feel like every time they go to sleep, it's like, they're in labor, so I'm hoping we can end this episode with that and leave on a good note. I really am holding out for this baby because... I don't know, if it doesn't come while she's sleeping, then I guess we'll end right here. Doesn't look like we're gonna get a baby. <gasps> Thank goodness. Oh my gosh, I really thought we weren't gonna get one. Okay, time to have the baby in the hospital. And yep, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Oh gosh, we're gonna go. <sighs> what a good way to end the episode. I've neglected all of my responsibilities to do this episode. So, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, it's 4.32 in the morning. Not really anybody here either, so...
that's always good. Now we're gonna check in. Oh my gosh, it's almost Happy's birthday. Oh my gosh, and we have bills. <laughs> All right, not what we want, but it's okay. All right, so, oh, she's heading on back. Now let's see, because last time she came in here and I was very confused because I've never had anyone come in here. Okay, see, she's going in the other room. Weird. Is he getting a snack still? What is he making? He's just walking too, not in any rush to see his child be born. <laughs> An intern once again. I fell down a wellness center. Perfect. Oh, there's that pre parental panic again. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Where's he going to view this random closet? Go back over here, Paulo. He's having his panic far away. <laughs> It's a boy! Alright, um, I think we're gonna go with Doc. Doc White. Alright, we are going to leave it at that. We have our second baby. I guess we'll start the next episode with aging up happy, and we'll only have one baby in the house, which is super nice. So, yeah, on to the show tune spotlight. I tried to make these slightly in the theme, but that never really happens. So today's show tune spotlight is Everybody Say Yeah from Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots opened in April of 2013 and closed in April of 2019. And its music and lyrics are by Cindy Lauper. It's a really fun musical, go give a listen. And the reason I chose it today was I am overjoyed that we got a baby. So let's just say yeah to that and yeah. We will see you guys next time Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and be kind.